Hi, and welcome to another episode of One Guest. I'm Kim Perez Gern, and I'm here with Leah Kramer, also known as Queen of Craft. Mm -hmm. Your book is called The Crafter Guide to Nifty Thrifty and Kitschy Crafts. You have a store located in the Boston area, and and a website. Tell me a little bit about your website. Yeah, well, I have a lot of irons in the fire. Um, the website is my the primary thing that I do. It takes up the most time. And uh, what it is, it's an online community for people to share craft ideas with one another. What, so they post pictures of what they're making, and people comment and ask questions and just get inspired from one another. And it has a very unique angle to it. Um, the, the name Crafter means crafty hipster. So it's supposed to be like, you know, a fresh new take on crafting. They're primarily early 18 to 34 year olds and they're just doing very different things with craft techniques than what you typically think think of as crafts so that that's the website and but how did you get started in this well when I, I, I loved crafting when I was a kid, um, and then I sort of moved away from it for a while when I was a teenager, and then, but when I got back in my, in my 20s, I really wanted to get back into making stuff with my hands. I just had this overwhelming urges to do crafty stuff again, and, but I wanted to do things just in my own style. I didn't want to follow, you know, a kit or, you know, the magazines that were out there. Didn't really speak to, you know, what I was into as a mid-20-something when I started all this. So that's, I, you know, that's why I created the website. That's why. I you know, did all of these things just to just sort of get my own voice out there and to see if other people felt the same way about crafting as I did. Oh, can we see some of the stuff you've done? Yeah, well, I brought a bunch of things. Uh, one of the things that I love to do is uh, crafts out of recycled materials, or well, things that you would normally throw away or that you might find like in plentiful supply at thrift stores or yard sales because it keeps crafting cheap and it's environmentally friendly and there's just a really fun challenge involved in trying to make something out of these things. So these are record bowls. This is a craft that people have been doing actually f since the 50s and this is a fun colored vinyl 45 sized record and here's a, a normal one but it's really easy um, the instructions are all over the internet or in my book and you just kind of use an oven for a couple of minutes and you, you soften the record up and make a bowl the other thing I have here let's see oh this is this. yeah this I is a book clutch this great. <laughs> yeah the the fun thing about this is uh, if it opens up if we want to uh, it's velcro it's kind of tough it, there's so many beautiful old books just lying in bins at thrift stores or libraries are getting rid of them because they're so old and so this is a way of just preserving the beautiful outside of the book and making a little clutch out of it. If I were to go dumpster diving in the next day or two, what, <laughs> what would be something I should look for? You know, anything that catches your eye, you never know. That's the thing. Like, uh, that's what I love about living in a city environment myself is that, you know, it's totally okay to go look through people's trash and people put stuff out there knowing that someone's going to take it. And you just never know. I mean, you can take, uh, you know, this, uh, this is an old bottle that someone might have in their uh, recycle bin. You can do this glass etching which I've done here uh -huh. or you could find a piece of furniture and you could reupholster it or decoupage it you know anything that catches your eye just take it well, <laughs> do something with it <laughs> thank you so much Leah I'm Kim Perez Gern for one guest see you next time